Hi, my name is Morgan, and Brooke is my best friend. Hi, my name is Brooke, and I love my friend Morgan. Hi, my name is Austin, and my friend Tanner is cool. You should meet him. Hi, I'm Tanner, and it's great being friends with Austin. Hi, my name is Addison, and I love hanging out with my brother Christian. Hello. 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 My name is Christian. Hi, my name's Amy. I'm Christian's helper. Miss Amy makes it easier to hang out with Christian. Hi, my name is Trent Green, and as an NFL quarterback, it was part of my job to deliver information about our game plan to my teammates, to help them be the best players they could be. And now I have the opportunity to share information that I've learned about autism with you, to help you be the best friend you can be. When you meet someone who's a little different than you, you might be scared or uncomfortable. And that's okay. 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 Because anything new is a little scary at first. But once you learn more about it, you get used to it. Because then you have the knowledge, and knowledge helps you understand. And understanding makes it easier to accept. All of us are different. No one is exactly the same. We all have our own talents. Characteristics. Strengths. And challenges. I have autism. Autism. I have autism. Autism can mean a lot of different things. Some kids who have autism seem like a typical kid, and it only impacts the way they act and communicate in certain situations. That's the kind of autism I have. And with some kids, autism impacts the way they act and communicate all the time. That's the type of autism I have. And sometimes, autism impacts kids so much that they might not be able to control their bodies or communicate by speaking, like my brother. Me. 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 No one knows for sure why kids have autism. Scientists and doctors are working hard to figure it out. What we do know is that autism affects the way the brain and body work. For kids who have autism, their senses, thought processes, communication and body movements happen differently. It causes them to experience the world in a very unique way. Austin's brain processes things differently than mine. Morgan senses things in the world in a unique way. It's called autism. Autism is not Christian's name or who he is. So please don't call him the autistic kid. Please, please, please. Because Austin is not just an autistic kid, he is just a kid who happens to have autism. I'm just a kid with autism. Autism is not a birth defect. It's not a disease. It's not contagious. It's not like a cold. You can't catch it. Autism is just something I was born with. It's something I live with. I will have it my whole life. It's just one part of who I am. It's just one part of my brother's amazing self. Autism affects the way kids take the world in through their senses. Situations that seem very normal to most people can be extremely painful to kids with autism. Specifically, autism can impact kids' eyesight. Autism affects the way I see. Some kids with autism have vision that is blocked in the middle, like this. Like someone is holding a hand in front of their face. They can only see the sides or just one side. Others have the sides of their vision blocked and they can only see in the middle. But this makes everything blurry or double vision. It can make kids feel sick or disoriented. Another way autism affects kids is that lights may blind or hurt them or give them headaches. That happens to me sometimes. Or sometimes kids see two pictures instead of one. Like your eyes are crossing all the time. That happens to me sometimes. Christian's eyes don't talk to his brain the same way mine do. So even though Christian's eyes have seen ice cream before, they don't tell his brain what it looks like. I love ice cream. When he sees ice cream again, he doesn't remember what it is, but his other senses remember it. So he can feel that it's ice cream, or taste that it's ice cream, but he can't see that it's ice cream. It would be like trying to figure out what something is with a blindfold on. The only way to tell is by touching, tasting, or smelling. That's why Christian puts things in his mouth or touches things over and over again. 
He's just figuring out what they are. Yes. Yes, yes. When you have autism, your vision may work in these different ways. So it's easy to understand why kids with autism may have trouble looking you in the eye or looking at presentations at school. Or why I have trouble writing or walk with stiff legs or look at the sides of my eyes. Seeing the world like this can make kids feel tired, overwhelmed, and frustrated. Christian loves to listen to you and look at you, but it's kind of hard for him to do it at the same time. When you see the world like this, it makes it hard to play sports, catch balls, or watch movies. That's the autism. But a lot of kids with autism can see things just fine. Christian loves going to the movies. It doesn't bother his eyes at all. Love. Love. It doesn't usually bother mine, either. Morgan only has trouble with lights sometimes. We turn the lights down for Morgan during drill team practice when they hurt her eyes. Every kid is unique. But seeing the world in a unique way can be great. Historians believe that the famous artists Pablo Picasso and Michelangelo both had autism. They created amazing works of art with the way they saw the world. Our uniqueness makes us who we are. Kristen loves to draw. Autism can impact kids' sense of hearing. Autism affects the way I hear things. My brain can't ignore noises. Austin's brain hears everything all at once at the same volume. Sometimes it's hard to be in the classroom because I hear everything all at once. And it makes it really hard to concentrate. The sound of my own voice comforts me. So I start to hum or rock back and forth. It helps me. Sometimes Christian flaps his arms or leaves the room. That's just autism. A lot of kids with autism hear just fine. I love to listen to great music. Chatting in the hallways with my friends is one of my favorite things to do. Having this unique way of hearing can be great. Historians believe that the famous composer Mozart had autism. With the way he heard the world, he created amazing music. Our uniqueness makes us who we are. I'm really good at playing the piano. Autism can also impact kids' sense of smell. Autism affects the way things smell and taste to me. They get a really bad headache if I'm around someone who wears a lot of cologne or is a smoker. The smell of hair products makes me feel like I want to throw up. Christian really doesn't like the smell of cleaning products or mouthwash. No, no, no. That's autism. But a lot of kids with autism have a sense of smell, just like anybody else. I don't like the smell of skunk, but I don't think very many people do. Autism can also impact kids' sense of taste. Christian is really sensitive to some foods, so he brings his own gluten-free treats to parties. I have trouble eating eggs. They don't taste good to me. But all kids have things they don't like to taste. I don't like spinach. Autism can also impact kids' sense of touch. Autism affects the way I feel things. Some things really hurt my skin. We had a drill team uniform that was made of crushed velvet. It felt like sandpaper on Morgan's skin. She waited till the last minute before the routine to put it on. Tight clothes make me feel claustrophobic, like I'm in a straitjacket. Christian hates tags on his clothes. I think they're really scratchy to him. Yes. 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 And I have some sweaters that are pretty scratchy to me, too. <laughs> when someone touches or bumps into me unexpectedly, it hurts. It feels like an electric shock. It shoots up my arm and burns. Like when I was five and I stuck my finger in an outlet. I'll never forget that. That's just autism. Kids with autism love getting hugs when they expect it or know the person well. Hugs feel good. It's just pressure everywhere. In a nice way. Christian likes it too. He even wears a special vest that has weights in it to make it feel like he's getting hugged all the time. Having a unique way of feeling the world can be great. Historians believe that the scientist Sir Isaac Newton had autism. The way he felt the world allowed him to discover gravity. Our uniqueness makes us who we are. It's possible for all these sensitivities to hit at once. Eyesight. Hearing, feeling, and sense of smell. It happens especially in public places, or sometimes in a classroom. Bright lights overhead, kids talking about their weekend, the teacher typing on the computer. The whirring of a fan, the smells from the cafeteria, and the cleaning grounds, the kid brushes past, and it feels like you're lucky to I may rock back and forth. Makes 
me feel like I'm in front of the restroom, bang my head, hold my hands over my ears and close my eyes. Christian just wants it to stop. Once I learned how painful it can be for her, I understood why Morgan sometimes acts differently. I understood why with all that chaos bombarding him every day, it might feel good for us to do things in routines. Routines are comforting to me. I like to do things in routines. But if something in the routine changes, it could be painful for Morgan, so I try to help her with it. Another way for kids to cope is to spend time with an item that is familiar. Christian likes to hold on to this hula hoop when he's upset. It just helps him calm down. That's autism. I do certain things in my life to cope too. When I'm nervous, I twirl my hair. I get in trouble for biting my fingernails. We all have unique ways of dealing with the world. Our uniqueness makes us who we are. Kids who have autism process the world differently. Some kids process in pictures, others see only patterns, and others memorize facts about certain subjects. Morgan's brain sees everything in pictures. It's like she does a Google search that can only bring up images, but she has a photographic memory. I have a 4.0 GPA, and I've received the Presidential Award for having all A's for the past three years. I really like school. Austin's brain sees everything in patterns. It's like a Google search, but when you search something and you're only seeing groups of letters, the cool thing is it makes them incredible at math. Some kids with autism process the world by memorizing facts about a certain subject. It would be like doing a Google search based only about movies or baseball or superheroes. Because kids with autism see the world differently, they also communicate differently. Morgan doesn't read social cues, facial expressions, or voice inflictions. The only way she knows how I'm feeling is if I tell her. I care a lot about how Brooke is doing. I just can't tell how she's feeling just from looking at her. And I'm taking classes to get better at it. But sometimes, even if she's yelling at me, I can't tell what she means. I can't tell if she's angry or trying to get my attention or happy. It could be any one of those things. It's just how my brain works. You can't tell how a robot feels because its voice and face is always the same. That's how Austin sees people, just kind of neutral. Another way that kids who have autism process the world differently is that they do not hear sarcasm and take words by their literal meaning. Austin has a hard time getting my jokes. I usually just explain why they're funny. If I would say, break a leg, Morgan, she would literally think I was wishing her to break a leg. So I just don't say that. I say good luck. I only know how to say what I mean. At least my friends always know that I'm telling them the truth. I never have to wonder with Morgan. She would never talk behind my back or lie to me. I can trust her 100%. I understand that Austin says whatever comes to his mind. I know he doesn't put social filters on things. I never take it personally, though. That's autism. I don't have a choice. It's just how my brain works. It's autism. I can talk pretty loud and get kind of hyper. That's OK. So can I. Everyone has their own way of communicating. Christian doesn't communicate by speaking, but he understands everything. Christian is learning to communicate in other ways, by using picture cards, sign language, and using his iPad. Peyton Goddard couldn't speak or control her body, but when she learned how to type on a special keyboard, she wrote a book, poetry, and graduated from college at the top of her class. Sometimes it's important for kids with autism to be by themselves. Christian likes to be alone sometimes. But most of the time, Christian loves to be around people, even though he can't talk to them. And kids with autism can take social classes to try to learn social cues so they can communicate better. Because I like hanging out with my friends. I have been taking social skills class for the past six years. Having friends is really important to me. Morgan and I have been friends since middle school. Once you learn about what autism is, you get used to it. Because when you have knowledge, you understand. And it's easy to accept. I love being friends with Morgan. Austin is really cool to be around. I love to hang out with my brother. No matter how hard my day has been, no matter how tired I am, Christian can always cheer me up. He loves me no matter what. He can't tell me in words, but I can tell the way his face lights up when I walk into the room. Morgan is always her genuine self. She doesn't judge people. She puts her whole heart into everything she does and does it so well. And she does it all because she loves it, not because of what people think about her. Watching Morgan inspires me to open up and be myself. I love hanging out with Austin. Every time I'm with him, I learn something. He's always giving me a new way to look at things. 
if you have some sure good about the everyday worries and to just be in the moment. I really care about my friends. I care. I care. I care. It's easy to be a good friend to someone living with autism. Just treat them like any other kid. Any other kid. Just treat me like any other kid. Please. And help them when they ask for help. Don't baby them. Sometimes I need help and I will ask you for it. And just like any other kid, if they're behaving in a way that makes you uncomfortable, ask them to stop. Or get a teacher to help understand what's going on with your friend. I like it when Brooke helps me calm down. We have a signal. Just bring it down. And if you can slow down. I can understand you better if you slow down and speak plainly. I visualize everything. So it helps me understand if you write something down or point to a picture. And please wait for me to finish talking. Sometimes it takes me a while to say something. If you can be patient, you can find a friend that will change your life forever. It's awesome. And if you take the time to understand Christian, you will find out how smart and funny he is. And it's helpful to ask your friend with autism about their sensitivities and help them avoid those situations. Loud noises can really hurt my ears. It's easy to turn down the television or ask your friends to keep it down. Please know that kids with autism never want to hurt your feelings or make you feel uncomfortable. I can't see it when something I'm doing is annoying Tanner or hurting his feelings. So, I like it when he tells me. It helps me learn. I just tell Austin that that hurt my feelings and he doesn't do it again. Because Morgan is just like any other kid. She wants to learn, to grow, to fulfill her hopes and dreams for her future. I plan to go to college and get married someday. And like any other kid, Kids with autism want to be included. Christian loves it when he gets invited to a party. It may seem weird at first to have an adult around all the time, but you'll get used to it. I'm just here to help so that you can do anything you would do with Christian that you do with any of your other friends. I can teach you how to communicate, hang out, and be a good friend to Christian. It's worth it to hang around Christian. I like it when Tanner invites me to play video games with him. He beats me a lot. Morgan is good at a lot of things. Just like any other kid, kids with autism love people giving them compliments. And just like any other kid, kids with autism don't like it when you call them names or say mean things about them. Sad. Sad. I don't like it when people use the R word. Even when you're saying it about a situation or about yourself. It hurts my feelings. No matter how you use those words, they are always insulting to whoever you are talking about. So please don't use the R word or any other mean words. We know you don't want to hurt anyone. Everybody makes mistakes, but when you know better, you do better. And if someone is being hurtful, it's okay to stand up for your friend with autism. It's okay to teach that person about autism. Maybe that person just doesn't understand or have the knowledge. You can give them the knowledge they need to understand. You can just show them this video. Because when you have the knowledge. The knowledge. The knowledge. When you know what autism is, you understand. Understand. Understand why kids with autism may seem a little different. Understand that we are all different in our own ways. And when you understand, you can accept. 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 Accept that some kids have autism. And they're still just a kid. Just like you. Just like you. Just like you. Just like you. Just like you.